Elrond against BTC. So for Elrond against BTC, here we are. Again, well, we spotted this one week shooting star many weeks ago. Many, many weeks ago. Way back in uh, November, it has already appeared. And yeah, we've already fallen quite a lot. Uh, and it feels to me like there's more downside to come for Elrond against BTC. Reason why I would say that is we are already touching the skinny pink line. So the moment you touch the skinny pink line, yeah, it's not good. I mean, I mean, you, you can uh, postpone the move, right? You touch it, you can postpone the move, but once you cross the skinny pink line, uh, you should be spending some time. More likely than not, um, Elrond could be spending some time under the skinny pink line before it goes back up. So yeah, it's just not really looking good at me. Uh, to me, I, I think that this is a potential ABC kind of a chart pattern. Uh, and even if you get an ABC, hopefully you just take out the lows over here without forming you know, if we form a head and shoulders, it'll be even worse and we could drop even more for Elrond BDC. But yeah, again, at this point of time, I just don't really feel that good about Elrond BDC. I feel like uh, there could be more downside to come for Elrond, but hey, there could be pleasant surprises and we could see a bullish reversal appear for Elrond BDC, right? We could get something like an ascending triangle over here and head higher. This would be great for Elrond, but as it stands, yeah, it's not looking good. Uh, you can see that every time we push higher, we get slapped down, right? Big weeks at the top means uh, there is tremendous selling pressure. We try to push higher, but you got slapped down again. Weeks at the top, there's selling pressure. So yeah, it's, it's just not really looking that good. Yesterday as well, if you look over here, there's selling pressure. The wheels uh, are you know, pulling the price lower for Elrond because BDC is down. So. Yeah, again, be careful about going to a trade too soon for Elrond. Um, I just don't think there is much for us to do at this point of time, uh, except to be patient. Elrond against USDT. Yeah, it's not really looking that good. Hey, hey we had a two targets for Elrond against USDT, right? Left shoulder, hit, right shoulder, boom, boom. We hit both targets. Woohoo! Um, I think we did though. Twitter, Skinny Moon Hunter. Let me just see where are we. Uh... Hashtag EGLD, uh, parenthesis, no it's not, brackets, uh, skinny moon hunter. Hehe, <laughs> run right, we had two targets way back in January. Uh, and so, yeah, eventually all targets were hit. Ta-da! That was quick. That was really quick. So, yeah. Anyway, um, if we get, again, mountain rangers here again, <laughs> More likely than not, there will be continuation for more downside. Uh, and we, we get a high quality head and shoulders. Oh, Aaron will collapse back to single digit dollar, right? From 500 to under $10. That's brutal. Absolutely brutal. So we'll see how things go. We're not going to force anything. Uh, we'll see if we can get uh, another high quality tradable chart pattern over here. If we get it, great. Uh, we could take trades for Aaron. But until that happens, we're not going to rush uh, into anything for Aaron at this point of time.